That is terrific, isn't it? Roger, I love your hair like that, by the way, particularly the little ribbons in it. Yeah, the director did as well, actually. He's, <laughs> he's chasing me around all time. <laughs> the crew rather like your legs as well, but that's another story. <laughs> yeah. You're in the middle yeah. of a big UK tour at the moment. Yes, we're, we're having a lot of fun. We're going all around the country at the moment. How's it going? Yeah. It's going wonderfully. Had a good night in Leeds last night. And mm -hmm. Yeah. Liverpool yeah. And tomorrow night. You're selling the tickets. <laughs> Looks like yeah. it, yeah. That's great. Cause yeah. Is, is this all sort of tied in with the release of your, your new album? Yes, really. The album came out a couple of months ago. Mm -hmm. And uh, and this is just really sort of, we have the single, Happiness, and yeah. uh, j just sort of enjoying it. You know. Now, the single, Happiness, that's the third one off the album. You've had yes. a couple out before this, Nazis 1994. That caused a bit of controversy with Radio 1, I believe. They weren't too keen to give it yeah. uh, main well, daytime play. Yeah, they don't <laughs> seem too keen on me at all. Um, <laughs> Why is that? What's what's in the music that, that sort of you know makes people a bit better ask them. Um, I, I really don't know. Uh, no, but it's got a met. You're, you're, it's the anti-Nazi thing, isn't it? Yes, it was very anti-Nazi, and I thought that was a sort of general mm. swell of feeling in this country. But uh, and this yeah. particular one as well is happiness with a question mark after it. Yes, I mean it's just a sort of simple truth, really. That I, I, I think you keep. I was losing touch with what you did really want out of life. And, it came down to happiness. And are you, are you, you're big on the message stuff in this. I mean, you've got a, you've got a Mr. Yeah. Murdoch song in there. Yes, Come on, like, you didn't expect like us not to mention it. <laughs> you're, you're a bit cross about things, aren't you? Not really, no. Mm. Um, it's just I, I felt that, you know, at sort of my sort of age now, I'm 45, I, mm. I felt I could, I could actually say something. Also, in, in a solo record, you, it's possible to say things that you can't do as a member of a band because you're mm. four different individuals and uh, you know you, you can't you don't all have think the same way about things so yeah. when you wrote for Queen they're very apolitical songs obviously. very apolitical yeah we were just entertaining people and and, and uh, mm. that was it does that connection Freddie's loss and all that still get you on a day-to-day -day basis oh yeah I mean I actually sort of learning to live without him being around mm. just took ages and ages mm. and I was still not really quite used to it but I've come to terms with it completely. were you were you close when you were a band were you, oh, yeah, were you all I mean, he's the sort of chap that didn't sort of stroll into a room without you noticing him there, I should No, imagine. he could certainly <laughs> bring a room uh, um, a light. Mm. Um, well, we were pretty close. I mean, you have to be close if you're 22 years or whatever it was. That's you know, a long time. It's the anniversary, boy. Uh, <laughs> anniversary's death yesterday, wasn't yes, it? Yes, that's right, and, yes. Uh, yeah. I mean, something like that, as you say, you were, all, you were all close. You were also very protective of him, weren't you, towards the end of his life? Oh, absolutely. In, in fact, we, we were working very hard uh, towards the end of his life because I think it, 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 it helped him a lot mm -hmm. to throw himself into his work and take his mind off the, uh, the sort of horrible realities, you know. Mm -hmm. How did you feel about the media attention because it was pushing at the door? And well, I, I thought surrounding the house and, and photographing the grocery was, was just ridiculous. And if he mm -hmm. ever did go out, you know, shooting him with, with telephoto lenses mm -hmm. from half a mile away is ludicrous, really, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, but what about... You now, you you're on the road at the moment in the UK. You were actually you were in Japan, where I believe you got oh, yes, uh, caught right. in a cyclone. Bit of bad weather right? you had when you were uh, there. That's right. Yeah, bit of a windy day. <laughs> well, there, there was yes, we had a concert that's called a off. Joke. It was a typhoon <laughs> or something, which turned out to be a sort of gentle breeze. <laughs> <laughs> nothing happened. Oh, nothing happened, but you but you were all waiting. What was it? Yeah. Mattresses up against the door and all that sort of thing. Sort of. <laughs> are, you, are you big in Japan? Don't make the clip I want to make. Every, everybody's yeah, that, big in Japan. Yeah, that's <laughs> sort of rock business cliche, isn't it? Yeah. Well, Queen yeah. were incredibly popular in Japan. We, we did about seven or eight major tours there. Mm. And uh, we actually loved it because we actually liked the culture and the art and, and a lot of the way of life. And uh, so I've been back a couple of times mm. this year. Are they looking at you for yourself now? Or are you still... I think it's a the mixture. The man from Queen. Yeah, I mean, yeah. obviously, I'm always mm. going to be the man from Queen, really, yeah. and, and I accept that. You mm. know, uh, we had such a great career. I mean, I'm certainly, you know, proud of it, and, and uh, I think to try and pretend that, you know, yeah. I wasn't very difficult in it to would do. be daft. Yeah. 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 You, you must spend a great deal of time actually away from home with all these tours. Not really. I mean, I haven't actually toured for years, so mm. it's actually uh, it's quite nice to get away, actually. Mm. <laughs> How much? I mean, <laughs> who, do you, who do you leave at home? <laughs> Wife and two children. Can't wait children. to get home. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you've got. You've I've actually got four children. Four. Um, but there's two at home. That's right. Two, yeah. two at home at the moment. Yeah. Right. Very yeah. little one as well, isn't Very it? Very little one. Yeah. How about, old? about seven weeks now. Come on, tell us who's who at home. Well, we've got Tiger Lily and Rufus Tiger. Yeah, what's this yeah, Tiger being? Yeah, fascination with the name Tiger. Come on, you... Because yeah. it is unusual, isn't it? I suppose it's unusual. Uh, <laughs> Tiger Lily, maybe not so much. Well, but Tiger Lily is in Peter Pan and in the Rupert books as well. <laughs> and, uh, Some of your favourites when you were young, then? Yeah, oh, very much so, yeah. I always loved that name. Mm. And, uh, Rufus. But your son's name has now been shortened to Tiger. 
Well, yes. I call him Tiger quite a lot. Yeah. But, uh, Do you think when he gets to school it might be just Rufus and they might drop the tiger? I think probably, yeah. Oh, Most it's a shame in a way, because it is though. unusual, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I like that with unusual names. Ours are all a bit straight, aren't they? Where, where are you going after the album and the tour and everything? Because uh, you've, you've, uh, seen, you've built up to this point, you're in the middle of the tour now. and Yeah, I'm quite looking forward to Christmas, really. Nice, yeah. sort of quiet Christmas and mm. restful yeah. Christmas and then a bit of skiing. Off to the slopes. And you haven't, are you, are you one of these keep fit fanatics? No, you know, like not, the rest at of them, you know? not at all. But You're not heavily into image or anything like that? I mean, you look gorgeous today. No, no. <laughs> Better than you did, I think, in, in a frog, it has to be said. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Quite a late one last night, actually. But, um, no, I just, I just like to sort of keep fit naturally by, I like to ski and I like boating. Mm. And, and, and so that keeps me out, outdoors quite a lot. Yeah. You know? But you're not a keep fit fanatic like Prince and all the rest of them, or whatever oh he's God, calling himself no, no, nowadays. No, no. And no, the American obsession goes into with a sort of a fitness, a hellish regime. You don't need to be rather looks you look fit, yeah. very fit indeed. Well, well, I think he still blow dries his hair though. I'm gonna yeah, it looks nice. It's a lot better than yours actually. Thank you very much. Thank you. Very much. Well, I think, <laughs> Roger, it's been uh, it's been lovely to see you. Thank Continue you. success right, with right. the rest yeah. of all the tour. All the very best. Liverpool the tomorrow album. night. That's right. Single too. Right now, let's hear Roger's new single, which is called Happiness. There's just one thing. 